Hello, this is Miles McKeon, and I'm going to demonstrate for you how SoftChalk can be used within course sites to create course content. Here's a brief example. This is a, a, a SoftChalk page regarding the warming of the Arctic. There's some content that the instructor provided and a YouTube video that's embedded. And then also, the instructor included a short crossword activity for students to complete as a nice formative assessment to double check their thinking. Here's another example. Again, we have some content that the instructor provided. This particular one has a self check, so students can once again uh, do some self assessment with this short formative assessment. And then also, the instructor included some images for comparison. And here we have a quiz group. This particular one allows students to write a longer response that would be um, included into the Course Sites gradebook for the teacher to grade. All right, well, let's get started getting SoftChalk set up within Course Sites. An instructor is going to need to scroll down to the control panel, expand the control panel, and expand the Course Tools button using the drop down arrow on the left. Scroll down and choose the soft talk chalk publish with score center option and here we're gonna get an access code this will synchronize the soft chalk software with our um, individualized course sites account choose submit and then we're gonna to need to copy and paste this code and we will then paste that code into the SoftChalk so software. Next, if we open up a new browser and simply search for SoftChalk on the internet, once you arrive on the SoftChalk site, you'll notice they have a free 30-day trial. And uh, you can try either. I recommend going with the soft chalk create, and then you can later create a, a cloud account if you so choose. Go ahead and enter in your credentials and information and hit submit, and then you'll start a download of this free trial. Once you have the, the software downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. I've got my soft chalk software over on my taskbar. SoftChalk's motto is, if it's not easy, it's not SoftChalk. Here is a pretty plain page, and there's a couple buttons up here that look kind of like a word processor. Um, essentially, an instructor can put in some text. You can also um, you know, change the font characteristics of the text, do some center align and so forth, add some simple bullets, and then... Uh, also, we can copy and paste from uh, a Creative Commons type site, such as uh, like Wikipedia allows um, the sharing of their content. So you could copy and paste some content from Wikipedia right into this location here. Um, you can also insert an image or hyperlinked text. Uh, you can insert some media. This would be like a file, like a video file that you have on your desktop. However, if I'm going to insert uh, a YouTube video, then we're going to use what's called the widget. Choose the widget here. And you need to just give this a name and a description. Uh, this is for the software's purpose. It doesn't actually display uh, in your site. So I'm going to just give this a quick little YouTube and uh, some descri basic description. And then here I need to copy and paste uh, the embed code from YouTube into this location. Well, what is the embed code? Let's show you. Get back to uh, my browser. I'm going to open a new tab and go to YouTube. Let's 
let's say I have a teacher created video let's say I want to grab this video here just click on the video within the video manager I'm going to pause it choose share and then choose the embed button And then I'm going to copy and paste this code. The video size right now is set at a rather large size. I'd say this is medium large. You can make it smaller if, you, if you'd like. Notice that the width and height values or the pixels have uh, decreased somewhat. And now I'm just going to use the copy, command copy feature and paste it in over here. And choose OK. Great, so this is my placeholder and if I, I can also center align this if I'd like. This doesn't look like it's uh, anything too interesting for right now. So what it, you can do is up in the top left corner here, you can view what this uh, will look like in an internet browser. So click this button and uh, you have to save the work first. So it's going to ask you to give it a quick save as name. And we're going to see a preview of what this looks like. You have some text here and then the video here. You could hit play and the video will go ahead and start. Great. So now I can uh, insert a page break if I so choose and uh, add some more text like a header. And uh, go back to a, a left hand align here. This time I want to insert something different. Maybe I'm going to add an iframe. Well, what is an iframe? A window that you can embed any other website within. So you can put a website within a website essentially and it can be very useful because it allows students to navigate to a website without actually ever leaving your lesson or your ebook and uh, they can participate or, or uh, interact with that website and then um, move on in your ebook to the next piece of content that you provide them. So I'm going to type in something here like uh, CNN iframe. Now I need to go and fetch a URL. So this time I'm going to go back to my browser and uh, add another tab. This time I'm going to go to CNN.com, see if I can't find some decent current event article. And uh, let's see here, maybe I'll go with sports. And if I copy this, a URL code at the top here and take it back to my URL value here and paste it in. Uh, I can also describe the size of the iframe. So 500 by 300, so I'd say it's kind of medium small. I might go a little larger. Let's go 700 and 500. Okay. And I can also center align that if I like. Once again, let's go ahead and uh, view this in the browser. All right, so now we've got uh, another page here. So I'm gonna go to the next page. And here's what my iframe looks like. Now this one's a bit too small. I probably wanna go wider because I have to scroll around left and right to see it all. So I can go back uh, to my soft chalk settings. If I wanna modify something, I would simply click on it and so that it highlights it. Use the insert button again. This time the only thing, because I've highlighted the iframe, the only thing that I can choose here is iframe. And then I can change the width to be larger. And the heart, the height a little larger too. Choose OK and I, my dimensions are automatically changed. My cursor is over on the right hand side here so I'll hit return a couple times. And uh, maybe I will this time insert about a quick quiz. I could have a, a brief true false question here and uh, I can give the students some feedback. I can modify the feedback as necessary. I can even give the student a, a hint button here. Pretty cool. And provide this some options. Here if it's uh, if you want it to be worth points you would choose the quiz button um, or if you want it to be more formative it could be like a self check. And uh, here you would give it a certain amount of points. This would go to the, the grade book. 
you can provide the students more than one option, or I'm sorry, more than one opportunity uh, to complete the quiz, and so forth and so on. Other types of uh, items you can enter, true, false, multiple choice, short answer, matching, ordering, essay. Um, you can also choose a quiz group, which means it would be multiple questions instead of just an individual question like on the popper. And finally, activities are also great to check out. You can include crossword puzzles, drag and drop, flashcards, uh, jigsaws, uh, ordering, etc., etc. There's a whole lot of different types of activities you could build in for the student to participate with. So it gives the student some interactivity with your content. It also really helps to highlight what's important. It stresses stuff that the, the student can scroll back up and briefly review and then, uh, then answer uh, within the, the different types of interactive um, uh, tools here. So there's a, a lot of uh, great content within Soft Chalk that a teacher can build. Again, you can insert photos and videos, you can insert websites, and uh, you can insert your own text, you can bring text over from a, another source, uh, and, and really ultimately you can create your own ebook specific to the needs of your students, uh, specific to your l locality, and so um, you know it really provides the teacher a lot of ownership. And furthermore, uh, this can be shared out among teachers. Uh, you can publish this directly to your course, or you can actually publish it to the cloud in a cloud-based account, and then you can link it to multiple LMSs. It doesn't have to be specific just to course sites. It could be linked to Haiku and so forth. So there's a lot of great diversity here. SoftChalk is not a cheap software once you, uh, your free trial ends. However, um, you know it might be something if uh, word spreads that a building would uh, want to invest in it. All right, so we've got this uh, SoftChalk lesson created. And uh, let's show you how you can publish it to your LMS. Before you hit Save to LMS, you first have to manage your publish accounts. I've already got a few here. Uh, disregard these. You're, you're probably going to start with a blank screen. I'm going to choose New and then uh, select Course Sites by Blackboard and uh, give it a, a name. Course Sites works just fine just so that you know where you're publishing it to. An access code. What was this again? Well, we had to go back. Uh, if we go back to, into our course, that's this code right here. You copy that code and paste it in here and then choose OK, and that's your credentials to, to enter uh, the content you create in SoftChalk into your course sites. Now, once you've got that code in, in there, you can then save to LMS. <clears throat> it's automatically connecting to uh, all of the different courses that I have within my course sites. So you can just choose uh, the specific course you want to enter it into. Let's say I want to enter it into the hybrid learning course. Then notice these are the buttons on the left-hand menu side that you can enter content in. So I'm going to enter my content in my course materials area, specifically into week five. Uh, let's say I, I don't want to put it any deeper into week five. I just want to put it in with the rest of the, of the content in week five. So just highlight that area. Uh, next, we're gonna, going to choose score center give it an item name this is what the students would see and you can modify this later in, in uh, your course sites uh, just by editing the the content there so let's say this is my trial you can give students unlimited attempts and then you can choose how that it's graded so the first attempt is the one that counts or you can do an average of all the attempts give them their highest score or the most recent uh, a lot of creative opportunities here. Uh, launching a new window, I like that. And uh, you can also track number of views just to ensure that students are, are uh, participating in the work that you provide them. And uh, that's about it. Now you just got to hit save and it'll automatically populate into your LMS within the particular folder you chose. And it will also, if you had points aligned to the activities, like such as the crossword puzzles or quizzes that you created, um, it will also create a gradebook item and uh, take the student's score and automatically put it into the gradebook for you. So it's really uh, great that it's all interactive and um, intertwined within the, the structure of your course.
And uh, once you hit save here, it'll take a few minutes and it'll give you a confirmation once it's completed. Once it's completed, if you return back to your course, you will find it within that area that you put it, such as the course materials and week five. I have another uh, example in here that we'll scroll down and see. This is what the uh, score center lesson looks like. SCL means score center lesson from Sawchuck. And uh, students can then click on this to open it up. I've got mine opening in a new browser. And uh, I like that because when they finish the lesson, um, they can easily just tab back into the course. Now, this is a, a brief uh, introduction for the student. It says they've already started uh, this lesson. Do you want to start again or resume where you left off? We'll just start again. And it says, uh, once you're finished, make sure you click the, the finish button so that it saves your work. Choose continue. And uh, in this particular one, I've got a little menu across the top, and uh, students can jump ahead to different pages or go through it one page at a time. Usually you can scroll forward here, as well as down here on the bottom. Well, we hope you find integrating soft chalk lessons into your course sites, LMS, uh, will provide you and your students some uh, fruitful content and activities to participate in. Until next time, have a great day.